This is an R tutorial. Got two minutes? Learn some statistical programming in R. It's easy, free, and fun. This tutorial, how to split a string in R with the str split function. I'll make a quick character vector for you. Here's x. x is a character vector of length 1. Introducing the str split function. The str split function splits up strings. It's got two required parameters, a character vector to split and a character vector to split by. And here's the result. Take a look at what happened. R started looking at the first characters in this string, 1, 2, 3, then hit the split character, then kept looking for more characters, 4, 5, 6, then hit another split character, then kept looking for more characters, 7, 8, 9. And there's your result right here. Three strings broken out at the location of the split parameter. Look at that split, split parameter there. It looks like a frowning guy with bushy eyebrows, doesn't it? Did you notice the bracket bracket 1 bracket bracket there? Know what that means? Duh, duh, duh. It means str split r returns a list object. If you have trouble with this next part, check out the tutorial titled How to Access Elements of a List Object and Create Your Own List Variables in R. So you know how to get stuff from this here. All right, let's save the results into y. y is, remember, a list, and now we can access the character vector with three elements like that. The class of y bracket bracket one bracket bracket is a character, even though y itself was a list. Now we can access the second element, the four, five, six there, by doing bra one bracket, bracket bracket one bracket 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 two bracket. You can split more than one string at a time, so x is a character vector with these two strings. If you want to split them both wherever they hit a comma, you can split it like that. And now you've got a list with two larger objects, containing two larger objects, and you can access, say, all the three piggies there with y bracket bracket two bracket bracket. If you want to split by more than one character, here we've got every letter in the alphabet stored in X. You can put all of the characters you want to split by, here all the vowels, inside of a bracket. And now we can split all the letters in the alphabet up by all of the vowels in the alphabet. That's because the str split function r accepts what are called regular expressions in the split parameter. Google regular expressions for more details. And now look at all those consonants. And here's one more. This has been a work of R.